When I was probably 17 years old, I read the book by Pascal called Pansé or Thought Pieces, and I was really depressed and I felt like I was in the darkness. Years later, I had a chance to go back to Japan and speak to an audience in my high school. You know, they're like 16 to 18 years old. And I was there to talk about my background, what I have done, and how I'm living, and what are the ideas that they may want to take from my uh, life's experience. And in that instance, I uh, showed a picture of a sailboat. The, the idea is to go through the plan, do, check, act cycle, planning and doing as you plan and check what happened and act upon it. Maybe change the direction or learn the lesson so that you can improve better get to the destination of island somewhere, let's say tropical island with a nice beach and all that. And you aim for that direction as you go forward, the wind may shift and the current may change and uh, some unknown situation may happen so you have to adjust to all the changes to keep on going through this process what I call plan to check act. So in living life in you know, out of the darkness and you know I don't think I have much darkness and uh, I, may, I may have much fewer <laughs> years left to live but generally I feel happy what has happened in my life and that's part of the reason what I want to share in this YouTube video as much as I share the story with the students. So lots of changes, but in general, I feel that this concept of PDCA, Plan to Check Act, the cycle of going through, is a very easy way to know how things happen. Of course, when you have a certain direction and ideas where to go, and things change rapidly because you change and the environment changes, therefore you need a big adjustment. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what to do for a long time maybe a few months or whatever, until I figure out what the next leg of the, you know, the journey is, and then on and on. So nothing can be predetermined, but you, in my case, I kept on adjusting, and even the field of my work or study, uh, the business and the nation and the relationship, many things have changed. Given all the situation, I think this process of continuously reviewing the process of what you went through and study what went right, wrong, why, what can be done better, which direction to go, and keep on moving forward will be the right way to go. So in that high school speech, I gave that picture of the sailboat and explained to the audience, saying that, okay, this is how I did it. And I hope that you may have learned something out of my speech. But at the end, I also mentioned that now you may have to have the chart and you may have to have the gyroscope to navigate your life. I don't know much about the chart, you know, because which direction you go and which nation, what job you want to do or relationship, it all depends. So there are multiple factors you need to look into. But at the end, you need to have a good gyroscope so you know what's going on, where you are on the map, you know, which direction, how far you went, and how far more to go. But that, this gyroscope, the sensory mechanism, is something you have to acquire. And I don't think I can tell you what that may be. So the chart and the gyroscope, please think about what they may be in your case and that's your homework uh, to navigate your life and last thing I can say is my best wishes so I didn't give any answer to the gyroscope or chart or any of in detail but after I finished the talk one young student came up to me and he said I think I have the answer for that question about the gyroscope and he said to me that that's a waku waku. Ah, that's interesting, I thought. The waku waku is the Japanese word 
Waku means kind of like a boiling, uh, water boiling, or the spring water coming out of the ground. The waku waku is the continuous flow of kind of energy and something pouring out. And I didn't ask much further, but I thought that really is a good answer to it. And when I reflect my life, that answer actually fit to the way I thought. I didn't tell my answer, and I'm not going to tell my answer in this video either, but that waku waku was quite to the point, I, th I thought. So let me give an example. Uh, this evening, I finished my most of the work and watched a little bit of TV and I had some time and the sun is still out and it's a nice day. So, so I start to run and then I met my neighbor down the road and another one and a couple, a couple came up and we talked a bit. And the freedom of riding the bike in the evening, going through the uh, cool air, was very pleasant, as much as the occasion of meeting the friends. And I really felt lucky about where I am. The point I felt there is that this simple thing that I did was really a waku waku moment for me. How I generated that idea? It's kind of like out of the consciousness, out of nowhere. But if we have a calm and quiet mind, open mind, and free to think about anything, then the idea pop up. Idea may pop up when you have a very difficult time as well. And in that case too, you don't know what to do. But after a day or four hours or whatever the time, lots of thinking may have to be involved, then come up all of a sudden. Maybe you are uh, relaxing or watching the sky, the, the cloud, or the listening to the bird, and maybe you're totally relaxed. And then all of a sudden, the idea pops up. So whatever the case may be, for the short-term unknown situation, or long-term unknown situation, the PDCA moment that I talked about, we are always going through this dynamic change of the situation around surrounding us as much as we are changing because our hormone level, the blood pressure, or the nerve system, and the, all the environment and inside and outside is changing. But still, given that uncertainty and unknown, we can find, so far as we have a gyroscope. And the gyroscope, again, in his term was waku waku, which to me makes sense. Maybe you find your own version of the gyroscope and try to keep with you. Maybe, again, like I said at the time, nobody will tell you what to do how to live your life, how to monitor, how to find the destiny. But it's your job, our job, each individual job to figure out. Work, hobby, relationship, health, finance, lots of subjects to go through. But whatever the subject matter is, as far as we live, to me, there's something fundamental that we can connect to coming out from the dust of universe to be here. It's the miracle. And the source of miracle is living in us. And we can detect that so that we are aligned to the way of nature, if I may say so, the way that we are constructed and want to explore as much as a tree may explore in certain direction, given the change of the wind and the sun, or the nutrition in the ground, or the water level, whatever that is. So we are the same. For each person, the setting changes, constraint may be different, potentiality may be different, but we are given this canvas to draw a picture. As you draw, you may keep changing the 
next stroke because that's how things happen. I hope you and each of us to be happy in the way we find what to draw in this white canvas, given what we've got, the potential we can and so forth, and enjoy the process as we go. Thank you.